find out what every single symbol means and and then it'll just get more and more because then like even everything flowers okay we'll have yeah. what's a black fly going to mean a yellow bond, everything and then you're just going to start getting more because it's like you're There's learning symbols the I've never known yeah and I have seen a lot of repetitive stuff that makes no sense to me but how, where do I look if I don't know if it's not Google. familiar just Google dream dream symbols you can Google like that's the one first I look this is a dream version, like purple rose, dream symbol. Okay. That's where I first look. And then I check it maybe a couple more places. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any uh, suggestions on, um, okay, so there's a lot of a lot of sleep being lost over this, and a lot yeah. of, um, you know, of her talk, telling herself she's going crazy and things like that. Is there any suggestions you have to make? Well, yeah. uh, you're, yeah, you're not crazy. Don't say that. Thing. Well, my family, you know, like I showed them that video. Yeah. And I was so happy that day. I'm like, oh my, I even cried. I'm like, oh my God, finally they're gonna think I'm not crazy. Yeah. And they're like, I don't see it. Like it's safe flickering. I know. They don't I know. They don't want to admit it. We go through that in the paranormal. That's just so you don't have to get used to is people like that, or like even people in the reverse. I will start telling you satanic. <laughs> like yeah. it's, you just have to get thick skin. You yeah. Just gotta. Yeah. And don't let it bother you. Yeah. And, 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 and it's a matter of acceptance, right? Yeah, Just accept, 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 accept accepting what's happening. Because yeah. yeah, uh, I want to see her get some rest and be at ease with it. Because um, for a little while, she, she'll, she'll seem like it's going that way. And then something drastic will happen, you know. And, and she, just, <laughs> she gets, you know, she cries. And I get emotional over it, too, you know. He's been dressed. Yeah. I know you're so sweet. <laughs> I know. And then you got this little party right Trip don't be, I, I want to don't be let there, it you know? feed on your emotion. You know what? Just imagine it's like some, maybe just like some energy that's like, okay, like when you know, like say if you've ever dated an abusive guy that just like says rude things to you, like, yeah. I don't know, like you look bad in that or something, trying to get a response. It's like some of the energy will try to get a response out of you because it will feed on that fear, some of the negative energy. So if you quit providing the fear and you just acknowledge your angels and prayer to the angels or whatever makes you feel safe it could be a deer spirit animal anything mm -hmm. and just believe that it's protecting you till you feel the energy around you then nothing can penetrate that and then there's like meditations you can do where you can imagine like feathers all around you just <coughs> like visualize the feathers all around you like angel feathers anything light because darkness can't penetrate light so if you're just imagining your full light the darkness can't yeah, that was cool when I, um, I know that the light makes everybody feel, like, less scared, but when I started getting scared, I put every light in my room on, and the TV rolled out, and then eventually, like, after I got here, I was reading that that positive energy, because, um, like, music, and the TV, and, like, light, right? Yeah. But not white noise. It's not positive energy, right? Well, white noise of spirits, I think, can come through that, yeah. so you never know sure. what you're doing. And negative energy and fear energy, or even positive energy, can linger. Mm -hmm. And there's a thing called living ghosts, and I'll have to explain it because I always use my hands. But uh, in 1974 in Chicago, Illinois, this couple moved into this house. And around about 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning, they would see this man manifest and walk over to the couch and a woman would manifest, and he would slap the woman, and then they would dissipate. Mm -hmm. And they saw this about four times. So they went to a block party, and they go, and the host of the block party, he goes, yeah, we do this every year, and you know, it's fun. Here's some photo albums. Here's all the pictures that we've taken at these block parties. And they, they were looking through it. The woman was. She was looking through it, and she goes, oh, my God. And, he, and the guy goes, what's wrong? And she goes, those are the ghosts I see in my house. Mm -hmm. And he looks at it and he goes, what do you mean ghosts? He goes, yeah, they lived in your house. They got a divorce. They had a lot of domestic disputes. There was a lot of police over there all the time. He, he goes, well, she moved five blocks down the road, and he lives out of state. And they're both very much alive. Mm -hmm. But she wow. goes, I see them all the time. That's the negative energy that was projected and is so strong, it's projected into the atmosphere and it replays itself over and over and over again. Yeah. And
became residual. So that's what they see. And the only way you can get that kind of energy out is to do real thorough cleansing. Mm. Yeah. And, and, and uh, the suggestions on the thorough cleansing, like mm. a, a, a priest or... Well, okay, what we do is we respect all religions. Mm -hmm. And so let's say if they're Hindu or they're mm -hmm. Buddha, mm -hmm. that's where she comes in. She yeah. does a metaphysical, yeah, you know. which, you know, takes care of that. Mm -hmm. This will help a little bit. That's yeah, so you, you know, my opinion on just so, you know my opinion on religions. I think she kind of feels the same way. Is um, religion's man-made? So the right. spirit, yeah. uh, the, the, all gods are the same. It all goes yeah, to the same right. place. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I disagree. Call, yeah. You know, the yeah. people fight over their religions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It yeah. is. It is. And we walk into Hindu places, Buddha places. And I love learning and, from them. And, and, and I respect all religions. Yeah. And like when I did Kovalo, which was a, a Native American Indian. I mean, I'm, I was born and raised a Catholic. I baptize people as a Baptist because you need a full submersion if you have an attachment. So I respect all religions and everything else. And when I went to Koblo, there was this one lady who was an investigator, and she's a Christian. She goes, well, we need to bless this land and Jesus Christ and all this. I go, no, stop that, please. I go, They're Native American Indian. Respect mm -hmm. Their yeah. beliefs. Yeah. Stop with the Christians. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My, mom, my yeah. mom's fascinated with it too, and yeah. she keeps go, going. You were baptized, <laughs> and the Holy Spirit's the only, you know. Yeah. And she's not like a Bible hub or anything, but yeah. she—that's 